Hello and welcome to the Robert R. Church Elementary School Title I meeting for the 2021-2022 school year. My name is Mrs. Barfield and I am joined by Ms. Hibbler, our professional learning and Title I coach to present our meeting to you today. My title at Robert R. Church is the Instructional Facilitator. Hello parents, my name is Ms. Hibbler and I am your PLC Learning and Title I coach and I will be presenting you some information about Title I. What is Title I? Title I serves to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high quality education and reach at a minimum proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. Title I is a federal program which provides additional funds above and beyond the funds provided to every Shelby County school. Funds are provided to schools who have a certain percentage of socioeconomic disadvantaged students. The Robert R. Church Elementary School is qualified to receive these federal funds. Title I eligibility. Children eligible for free and or reduced lunches under the Na National School Lunch Act are eligible for Title I. Some children are deemed automatically eligible to participate in Title I. Those students are any student served in the Migrant Education Program, any child who participated in Head Start, Even Start, the Early Reading First Program, or Title I Preschool Services at any time within the previous two years, any child attending a Community Day Program, or living in a state or local institution for neglected or delinquent children and any child who is homeless and attending any school in the LEA. Title I provides funding to assist in increasing parental involvement. So therefore we will have monthly parent meetings and trainings and also be able to provide like uh, refreshments. Title I provides funding to assist and support the instructional program by purchasing instructional supplies. However, supplanting is not allowed. Title I provides funding to support professional development. Redelivery of professional development information is required once professional development has been completed. The use of Title I funds, additional personnel that the school needs, parental involvement, professional development, take home resources, extended learning tutoring, supplemental education service, and supplemental materials to address student needs. How does Title I help? The funds provided by Title I help us to provide the various necessary resources and support to all of the students at the Robert R. Church Elementary School. Without these funds, additional items and resources would not be readily available. So the parent expectations for Title I, parents are encouraged to be involved in the education of their children, to communicate with teachers, send students to school on time, and set high expectations for students. We would like for you to become involved in the Robert R. Church Elementary community to aid in the achievement of your students. The Title I Parent and School Compact will be sent to all parents. It outlines the responsibility of the school, the responsibility of the parents, the responsibility of the students, and the responsibilities of the teachers. The Family Engagement Plan. You will receive a copy of the engagement plan that outlines the following topics. Parents as volunteers, the Parent Resource Center, the Parent Teacher Organization, and 
monthly parental involvement opportunities. The parents' right to know. Parents have a right to request the following. A teacher's professional qualification, which includes state qualifications, licensure, grade certification, waivers. A teacher's baccalaureate and or graduate degree, the field of endorsement, and previous teaching experience. A paraprofessional's qualifications and assurance that your child's name, address, and telephone listing will not be released to military recruiters. State and district testing. Our state and district testing for this school year that is mandated for each student to take, first of all, begins with the Mastery Connect assessments. Those assessments will take place three times a year online. The dates for those are September 20th through October 8th, November 29th through December 17th, 2021, and February 28th through April 1st, 2022. Kindergarten through second grade students will complete these assessments. The TCAP achievement test is from April 18th through May 6th, 2022, and grades two through five will complete these assessments. These assessments provide information on how students are performing on particular standards, and this information can be used to drive instruction. The reports are available for download at the time the assessment is completed, and the information is available to share with students and parents. Additional assessments that are used to help our teachers determine if a student is under understanding the content presented in the classroom. In addition to the state test assessments, we use these assessments for our students. The biweekly common assessments in all core subjects from kindergarten through fifth grade, reading and math benchmark tests that include iReady and Illuminate FastBridge, and students are also progress monitored weekly and bi-weekly, depending on their reading tier for identified students using Illuminate and FastBridge. Parent communication. The teachers of the Robert R. Church Elementary communicate students' progress in several different ways. We send TCAMP parent reports, intervention reports from iReady. You will receive a mid nine weeks progress report and report cards come out each nine weeks, plus parent phone calls. There will also be parent and teacher conferences that will be conducted virtually on the team's website. Parent teacher conferences will take place two times this school year. One is Thursday, September 9th, 2021 from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m and also Tuesday, February 15th, 2022, from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Should you need an additional conference with your child's teacher, you can schedule it by contacting them. Parent involvement. Parents can be involved with communicating with their parents, uh, with their teachers, I'm sorry, and the students, by parent teacher conferences, various meetings that we will have throughout the school year, uh, workshops for parents, family events. We have curriculum nights for all of our core subjects. We will have awards assemblies, invitations to classroom activities, field day, and being assessment proctors. Most of these meetings will take place virtually this school year. Title I instructional supplies. Title I funds are allotted for instructional supplies to help increase student achievement. Subplanting is not allowed. There's a budget set for instructional supplies and equipment for teachers. The Title I process for completion, when the items have been purchased, there's a process for completing those orders. Several SES employees must approve the orders before, prior to delivery, and once those orders arrive, they will be distributed as soon as possible. 
Title I professional development. Title I funds are also used for professional development. These are classes that our teachers usually take in order to improve their craft. After completing professional development, the attendee has to re-deliver that information. Professional development must be aligned to the school improvement plan and proven to be effective. Thank you so much for being an active listener. Should you have any questions about Title I and the services that it provides, please reach out to me, Ms. Hibbler, at Richardson KA1 at SESK12.org for any questions, and I will be available to assist you. And now we'll have, go back to Ms. Barfield to give you some more information about the school year. Thank you, Ms. Hibbler. So again, uh, listeners, the Robert R. Church Elementary School, we want to do a quick introduction of our staff. So we are going to start with Mr. Marquis Pfeiffer, our principal. Next, we have Mrs. Elke Griffin. Mrs. Griffin is the assistant principal for kindergarten through second grade. And then we have Mr. Craig McKee, who is our assistant principal for grades third through fifth. So these are your points of contact for your uh, children. If you have questions about anything pertaining to uh, behavior or any type of concern, check out these grade levels. Mrs. Griffin has you with grades K through second, and Mr. McKee has you with grades third through fifth. Our instructional coaches, you've heard from Ms. Hibbler, and then myself, Mrs. Barfield. I am also a part of the technology assistance team. I work instructionally with grades K through five. We have our school counselors, Mrs. Cobra Jeffries. Mrs. Jeffries works with kindergarten through second grade. Mrs. Latoya Tabor Strong, Mrs. Tabor Strong works with grades third through fifth. Anytime you have questions about um, anything related maybe to uh, being promoted, behavior, any type of counseling concerns, these are your points of contact for those types of issues. Our RRC Instructional Technology Assistance Team, we have Mr. Raymond Edwards, who is also our Family Engagement Specialist. And we have Ms. Natasha Nunley, who is our school interventionist. The RRC school hours. School hours are from 9 a.m. until 4.15 p.m. Monday through Friday. Breakfast will be served from 8.45 a.m. until 9 a.m. daily. So parents, if you would like for your students to receive breakfast each morning, please make sure they are here and in the building prior to 9 a.m., uh, but the doors open at 8.45 a.m. So please make sure they're here during these times if they need breakfast. Dismissal times are as follows, 3.45 p.m., Car riders are dismissed. 3.55 p.m., bus riders are dismissed. 4.10 p.m., third through fifth grade walkers are dismissed. And then we end at 4.15 with our kindergarten through second grade walkers. And we start with our third through fifth grade walkers to ensure they're able to meet their younger siblings uh, when the younger children are dismissed from school. School programming highlights, our counseling services. So our counselors work with families that uh, need crisis support, uh, any other type of counseling, academic and social and emotional support, um, adverse childhood experiences, maybe the loss of a parent or a grandparent, uh, being a part of something tragic, a, a bad car accident, or maybe witnessing something that uh, is traumatic. Those are considered the adverse childhood experiences. So our counselors have uh, deep experience with those types of issues. We also have our ESL, 
SPED, include supports uh, with intervention that is uh, virtual and in-person, uh, classes and working with the homeroom teacher. So our uh, ESL, SPED, include support teachers also go inside of our classrooms as well as doing pullouts with the students one on one and then IEP or individualized education plan support for those students who uh, are in need of an IEP. Continued highlights with our family engagement specialist, uh, Mr. Edwards. Uh, Mr. Edwards assists with attendance challenges such as uh, children missing days, maybe because they're homebound or there are issues at home. So we know many factors may contribute to uh, what's considered truancy, but we have a family engagement specialist that is definitely here to help. Additionally, our engagement specialist works with uh, providing resources to our families that may be going through a hard time, such as experiencing homelessness, or maybe there was a sudden emergency, such as a house fire, or maybe theft, or just falling on hard times. We know that there's a lot going on. We are definitely here to help, and we're working to bring families and schools together. So that is the importance of us having our family engagement specialists here in the building to assist you with any issue that you may have. How to view grades, conduct, and attendance. So every parent should have access to a PowerSchool account. PowerSchool is how you register your student for school. So every student, every parent has a PowerSchool account. So we have the website here, sestn.powerschool.com forward slash public. You're going to sign in with your username and password, the same credentials that you uh, started with when you were doing your registration. And once you are inside of PowerSchool, you are able to see everything pertaining to your student. You should be able to see uh, their teacher's name, their schedule, their grades, their attendance, their conduct, uh, comments maybe from the teacher on report cards or progress reports. PowerSchool is your info hub to know what is going on with your child. Please utilize this wonderful program. Uh, you are able to access, the, access this with the website that I just read that is showing on the screen, but there is also a PowerSchool app. So if you're having a little problem trying to get to PowerSchool, we have a link to PowerSchool on our Robert R. Church website, and then Shelby County Schools has links to PowerSchool on uh, their website as well. So there's always easy access to PowerSchool. Thank you, parents, students, faculty and staff, guests, anyone that was on listening um, today. We appreciate you all. Um, this is going to be a great school year. We're claiming it. As Superintendent Dr. Ray always says, together we will believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are reimagining 901. Thank you.